what's going on it's your boy they ain't got the plan back again with another video and man we're gonna get back on it today i just want to talk about uh we're gonna throw some uh nfl news out here today let's just see what we got going on so yeah how y'all doing today? Y'all been having a good day today? Well, I guess my day has been pretty good. Okay, so let's look at the NFL news. Okay, we're going to start out with the opt-out list. <laughs> no one minute in, everybody saying, okay, so I'm going to kind of skip through to the semi decent, you know, the names that people have probably not already heard. Uh, Eddie Goldman, he opted out. I'm pretty sure people know who Eddie Goldman is. Star Latula, he opted out. Andrew Billings, he just opted out. Devin Funches, he opted out. Well, you know, Damian Williams and uh, Ron Dolphy, the, you know, the doctor from the Chiefs, he opted out. Uh, Michael Pierce actually opted out. The Patriots, they pretty much the whole team off to that. And the rest of you, okay, the, the Giants, Nate Soldier, that's got to be a pretty big dude. Uh, the Eagles, Marquise Brown, Chance Womack for the Seahawks, and CJ Mosley for, for the Jets. And then Larry Warford off to that. So, So they said the 49ers met with Zika Onsa and Deion Jordan, so I guess they're looking for a little pass rush out. And Joe Mixon said he wants to be paid among top eight in the running back market. I can't believe the 49ers signed Jordan Reed. I mean, yeah, Jordan Reed. I, I'm just saying, like, I really, I thought the guy had potential when I first seen him come out, but I'm just saying, like, the, uh, <laughs> the concussions had really just killed me with this guy. And it said... <laughs> And we got the Ravens, they just signed former Gerald Adams. I really don't know who he is, but. <laughs> and so, Russell Wilson wants AB to sign with the team. That's something new. Aaron Rodgers, his little storyline. Yeah, they was playing, uh, they was talking about Aaron Rodgers and, uh, how Aaron Rodgers is going to be here forever and stuff like that. I think that is just, they, I honestly believe they just talking with their rumors so everybody don't really believe that or whatnot. And I see the Raiders are trading PJ Hall. It's P.J. Hall, I think he's a younger player. I want to say he may have came in the league maybe like your last year, the year before. He might be like a two-year guy, but he's going to the Vikings for a seven-round pick, which, thinking about it, the Raiders said they're going to cut him anyways. They get a pick for him, and then the Vikings get depth on their D-line. So, yeah.
Okay, they say it the, the Jets have no interest in signing Clowning. Pretty sure. Now Antonio Brown coming to come back since he even got his eight game ban or whatnot. So we just see how that goes. In the book sign Shady McCoy. <sighs> okay, y'all, there's been a new thing. I about to say, okay, okay, okay. Vic Veasley did disappear. But now he's researching right now and see he's gonna come to camp. And in cooperate, he's he's officially started his holdout and everything. And man. That's pretty much it, Bryce. I'm just real pumped up for this NFL season. I really hope that some good things really happen. Well, not some good things really happen, but think about this NFL season. I think like it's going to be like some weird, awkward team that's going to win, you know. Some teams might not expect this, so I'm just saying expect unexpected this year. Since it's COVID and it's, you know, who knows? The Packers might win, the Seahawks might win. Right, any, I, <laughs> Since it's COVID-19, you can't really count on anybody. And then just imagine if, I'm just saying, because that would just be crappy or whatnot. But could you imagine if everybody had to go go to their cool backup quarterback for certain reasons? Man, it's just crazy, bro. All right, then, y'all. Like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I'll be back.